In the following video, I'm going to show you how Crusoe can save you the trouble of reassembling research you've already done, even if we're talking about work you've long since forgotten. Last week, I was doing some research on Herbert Spencer, who coined the term social Darwinism, and I ended up with 18 different citations from six different sources. And so, I saved each of those citations, and now I have a stack of Herbert Spencer notes in Evernote. But what really matters to me most about these notes isn't the content of each individual note. What really matters is how I put it all together. That's what my research is all about. So now let's look at my Herbert Spencer notes in Crusoe. Okay, see that note in the top right corner of the screen that says highlights from the 1910 Encyclopedia Britannica? That was a really useful write-up, so let's start by tapping on that. And there you can see my excerpts from the 1910 Britannica entry on Spencer. Now look at the note in the top right. That's a long title. It tells me exact, but it tells me exactly why I saved that note. And Crusoe displays full titles so that I can identify what's in my research without having to open every note. Also, I don't have to remind myself why I saved it in the first place. And both of those will save me a lot of time when I come back to this research later. Now, that note is linked to four notes, so let's tap on, it, tap on it to see what they are. Okay, this time let's look at the note on the bottom right. I'm going to open it up, and you can see it's some screenshots taken from John Stuart Mill's book, Utilitarianism. Now, I saw an important connection between what's written in these pages and what I found in the excerpt from the Britannica entry on Spencer, and so I linked them so that I can't pull out one without seeing the other. Really, the link is my research. It's the reason why I thought each individual note was worth saving. And in that sense, the link matters as much or more than the actual contents of each note. Okay, now let's tap on that note and follow its links. Okay, some really interesting research here. The excerpt from Mill's book talks about August Comte, but the quote also reminded me something in Victor Hugo's novel, Les Miserables, and I wanted to link it to those pages in Hugo's novel before I forgot the connection. Oh, and see that little blue, so that's right beside, it's right in the center on the right. Now you see that little blue rectangle at the end of the link? Well, when it's opaque like that, it tells me I've written an annotation explaining why I'd link the two notes. So let's see what it says. Okay. It directs me to the final highlight note in the linked note. So let's close this and open up the excerpt from Les Miserables. I'm gonna scroll down and there's the final highlight. I think this is an important connection. And I don't remember what made me think of Victor Hugo when I made the connection, but insights like this are often fleeting and Crusoe lets you capture them quickly. Also, I hope you can see the power of making connections in Crusoe and how they tell the story of your research. Not only do they show me why each note matters, even after I forget, but as you can see, I only have to remember one note in this long train of thought, and Crusoe will serve up my research in its assembled form, which saves me from having to remember to look everything up and put it all together again. And that saves a lot of time. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Otherwise, thanks and we'll talk to you again soon.